Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn where we are, well, theoretically ready uh, to move uh, beyond this place and uh, to leave Mother's Embrace. However, there is actually a few things that I uh, want to do first. I mean, first of all, we have a quest to test out this new device to override the machine. So um, we're definitely going to do that. But uh, when looking through my quest log, I noticed that I have like some tutorial quests as well. So I figure I may want to try to finish those two. I have to kill watches using precision arrow shots to the eye. That shouldn't be too difficult. And uh, I want to try out the rope caster by tying down some machines. So um, I will try to finish these and then uh, continue with my uh, main mission. Yeah, it's a main mission, override a strider. However, there's one other thing that I would like to do and um, that is go back to Aloy's um, home, like the cabin where she grew up. I think it's the one over here, right? Because uh, they said that they buried Rost um, at, at his place. So I would like to see if there's actually like um, a grave for him. Also, I haven't really been to this place apparently because there's a, a fireplace that I haven't actually activated yet. So there's still a few minor things that I would like to do here before I uh, leave this place and move on into the open world, which is um, significantly bigger than our little starter area here. So yeah, um, I'll head out and I will, well, first of all, try to find some watchers to kill with my new bow. I think it's this one. Also, um, I don't need to buy anything. I don't think so, no. And yeah, then we will try to use our new device. See if it works, if we can control the machines. Alright, I found a few machines over here, but um, they are not watchers, they are scrappers. So uh, maybe I can do the rope caster quest here. Because it doesn't specifically tell me what machine I'm supposed to use it on. Well, scrappers are also mentioned. So if I use it on a few scrappers, um, that should work. So it's this one, right? All right, uh, let's, let's see what we can do here. And again, it looks like I can pick up this loot, but apparently I can't. Um, okay, I can see like two scrappers, right? Let's take this target over here. Well, actually, there's more than just two. But that's okay. I need I need to tie down more than one of them. All right. Um, that worked. <laughs> I guess now I'm supposed to go over there and actually like kill it, right? Sure, let's do it. Because now the other uh, scrappers got aggro. Let's see if I can tie them down while they're trying to attack me. Yep, I can. All right. That's two of them down. Got you now. And number three. All right. That is um, the tutorial quest finished. Let's pick up our loot. And we're going to move on. I will try to find some watchers so I can uh, finish the other quest as well. And then we will try to override a strider.
All right, looks like I found me some watches. So let's see if I can use my bow to... Oh, well, you totally ducked away. All right, but <laughs> that worked. So that's one watcher shot in the eye. Do we have more of them around here? I mean, we have the striders over there the that I'm supposed to... I can test the override device. Should yeah, I know, but it. didn't go through all of this to wind up trampled by a frightened herd. Okay, but I would like to kill a few watchers first. But of course, now I can't actually find any watchers. <laughs> Only striders. Well, I guess. Um, I may have to continue with the other quest first and we will... Oh, hang on a second. There was a watcher somewhere around here, yes? Oh, but it's destroyed, so... Okay, there's... there's the watcher. Alright. Well, that didn't work. Okay, that's two or three watchers killed. And yeah, I don't I don't see any others around here. Oh, but the strider is getting slightly suspicious. The question is can I like use my device on these striders or do they have to be the ones over there? Let's find out. E to override. Okay, here it goes. Let's do it. Come on, come on. Okay. It worked. It's not hostile. It seems almost tame. I think I could ride it. I can ride it. Okay. Mount the overridden strider. Press enter to open the quest menu. Okay, um. Sure, I, I guess I guess I will I will try to ride it. Let's mount it. There we go. Shift will have to mount speed. That's more like it. Space will slow it down. Okay. Use the mount's melee attack by pressing left mouse button. Dismount by using E. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ride. Okay. Speed up. Slow down. <laughs> this strider is fast. It is. <laughs> this walking. Nice. I can ride a strider. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Probably can't ride them all, but I might find a use for them. Right. I I guess I should be doing that. As a matter of fact, I think there's like a machine somewhere over here. Oh, it's another scrapper. And a destroyed watcher. I mean, I will sooner or later find another watcher, I'm sure, that I can destroy. And I don't think the scrapper actually noticed me here. Alright, well. That's kind of neat, I suppose. Um, okay, hang on a second. How do I dismount E, right? Call your mount, select in the tools menu by pressing Y, then use it with F. Ah, okay, so I can can leave my mount here and then call it again if I want to. Alright. Of course, um, I can't collect resources while I'm riding. At least not at the moment. I believe there's a skill seen it in my menu. Speaking of skills, I may have received some skills or have I already used... No, I have already used um, the skills that I got recently. I, I took some brave skills and I think this one here, Strike from Above. So yeah, um, this is what, what I can do. Anyway, um, now let's have a look at our new quest. Uh, talk to Val at the gate of the embrace. 
Okay, so basically now I'm supposed to leave the embrace, which means now might be a good time to finish what I want to do here, which is um, check out... Uh, I mean, this looks like it could be a gravestone. I'm not sure if this is uh, Aloy's house or Ross's house, but I guess I will uh, check it out. Um, and I will check out this area as well, because apparently I haven't uh, been here, at least not like the entire way, because this uh, campfire is uh, unused. So yeah, um, I will head over to uh, these locations, I will try to kill another uh, watcher on my way there, and I guess I will try to familiarize myself uh, with my new mount. And uh, once I'm done with that, I will uh, finally go and uh, leave the embrace. Okay, I think I actually found some watches over here. Okay, I guess um, this is as good as time as any to get this done. Let's go a little bit closer. And there we go. And I guess I have to kill this one too now. <laughs> there we go. Tutorial quest finished. Um, let's try to call our mount. Oh, I, I think I had the wrong wrong uh, button selected. Yeah, I used some potion. <laughs> I need to I need to learn how to properly use my little menu down here because I keep using the wrong um, items. But okay, um, now let's uh, head back to what I think is Aloy's home. Alright, there we go. And yes, I was right. This is like Aloy's home or Ross's house. And I had to leave my mount behind because this involved some climbing. And yeah, it looks like this is his grave. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Let's, let's talk to Rost. Rost. I couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after <laughs> all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I've been... trying to puzzle it out, but... nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this... a woman. Older, with short hair. But why? And what's the connection? If she's my mother, then... She didn't look Nora, but... If she lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn, the less I understand. <laughs> go on, leave. Uh, sure, go on. I need to track down Olin. An outsider. He was at the festival the night before the proving. Somehow, the killers saw me through his focus. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him, well, he's going to tell me everything he knows. And he's going to pay. All right, it's, uh, it's time to leave the embrace. I'll try to come back when I can. Great! Now I'm sad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that I came here before uh, leaving this place for good. I thought that maybe um, I could try to interact Home. with that grave. Do you think he built all this? Alone? So many memories. It's not home anymore. 
Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. That might be true, but I still would like to have a look at it. I'm not sure this if I can a bite out here. Actually go inside the cabin. No, I can't. He picked like a really, really remote place to build his home though. I mean this is like on top of like one of the mountains far away from any uh, roads. Need to climb to actually get here. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure there is nothing left for me here. I can destroy a few more dummies, but I guess I won't. Um, yeah, now the last thing that I want to do is check out this uh, canyon over here. But um, I'm not sure that there's anything of interest, so I may just do this off camera. And I suppose I'm going to use this way down. Maybe this is going to be slightly uh, faster than the other way around. Um, but yeah, uh, once I checked out this place over here, I will bring it back and then we can finally go and uh, leave the embrace. Okay, um, it looks like I reached uh, the scrapper site at the end of the canyon and yeah there's quite a few scrappers four of them as far as I can tell now the interesting question would be can I override a scrapper um, of course I would have to be a lot closer if I want to test that theory I mean, this one seems to be moving away a little bit. Um, but I don't really have any good hiding spot here. Maybe I'm just going to destroy this one <laughs> while I can. Ah! Yep, there it comes. I think we already have the next guy who got suspicious. All right. Take this one down. Okay. And that's two or four destroyed. And well, um, I was just about to say the other one hasn't noticed me yet, but I was wrong. I was wrong about that. And they totally did notice me. All right. And yeah, this one is probably coming my way as well. All right, at least that did a bit of damage. So now let's finish it off. Alright, so I guess I have to test whether well or already. not I can override a scrapper later. And yeah, my inventory is full again, so I may have to uh, drop some stuff or maybe uh, craft something, some of that material. Anyway, um, since we're here now, uh, we may want to look around a little bit. Oh, look at this. This has a purple uh, marker. 25% resist shock weave. Of course, I, I can't pick it up because my inventory is full, right? Yeah, um, so I will have to do some inventory management because I definitely want to pick up this one. So maybe I'm going to uh, drop some stuff or see if I can use it for something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. This place is interesting but it doesn't seem that there's anything going on besides like the scrappers so I will I will pick up my loot here and then I will make my way back to um, the entrance of the embrace and then I think it's time for us to leave 
think it's over here, right? Talk to Val, yeah. I mean, this might be a situation where I actually want to use like a fast travel pack because that is quite a distance. But yeah, um, I first gotta do some inventory management here so that I can pick up um, all of this stuff. Alright, I am back at the um, entrance or, well, exit of the embrace. Also, it seems that if you leave your um, mount uh, behind for too long, it's going to vanish and you can't call it anymore. So I got myself a new one. But yeah, um, I guess I have to go through the gate, although it seems like there's um, some machine fighting outside of this. Just outside the gates? The gates look Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! Yeah. Can I can I fit through here with my mount or do I have to do this on foot? Uh, let's find out. I'm very slowly I might be able to fit through here. Damn. Yep! Oh well, um I don't have my mount in the cutscene anyway. Varl, I take it? Am I seeing things? <laughs> or were you riding that strider when you came through the gate? Oh well, uh, yes, I was. I was. It's <laughs> hard to explain. I imagine so. Strange times we live in. We who've survived. I recognize you, of course. Aloy, the outcast who won the proving. I'm glad to see you survived your wounds. High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled, and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. <laughs> I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. Apparently, I'm not the only one who doesn't like Resh. Um, that's a relief. Also, I think it's nice that they actually acknowledged the fact that I was riding my strider um, when I arrived at the gate. I mean, it didn't show in the cutscene, but um, he did mention it, so uh, that's neat. Um, yeah, let's talk a little bit. Tell me about all of the dangers beyond the embrace. You said the trail is dangerous. What sorts of dangers? <laughs> Almost too many to name. The killers are still out there, and somehow they've corrupted the machines, spreading madness. Yes, I've seen it myself. Bandits, too. Cutthroats who snuck across the border to prey on us. The word is, there's a camp in the metal ruins upriver. Sounds like I need to craft more arrows. Hm. Um, I may have to craft some arrows, that's true, actually. I also need to gather more healing herbs, because I used quite a few when fighting all the scrappers. Um, yeah, can we talk about the proving? You said I won the proving. How did you know that? I spoke to survivors. He said you fought bravely, as did Bast. And my sister. Your sister was Vala? I'm... I'm very sorry. I, I liked her. I think we might have even become friends. If we'd had a chance. Mm. Thank you. She died saving others. There is no better death. Well, um, I guess uh, that's true. Um, yeah, tell me exactly what happened to the war party. You said the war party was massacred. How? <sighs> when word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. Hmm. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but by then the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. All right, I see. 
And yet, what's your opinion of the new war chief? You said war chief Sona is missing? Oh, well, let's Even talk about the, the real war chief. Even when the she wouldn't too. give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then, there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. I feel if a anyone could survive up. out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. <laughs> so, does she set high standards for you too? Um, anyway, uh, thanks for the talk, but I suppose um, it's time for me to go. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. You know, I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this <laughs> gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site. A wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst, on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. Now, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you, and... I... I get it, Farl. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Yeah, you don't have to make a sales pitch here. I am quite willing to do this for you. Like I said, um, there was a, a quest coming up. All right, um, let's uh, pick up the loot over here and... I guess I'm going to take my mount with me, although um, I feel that sometimes just walking on foot is, first of all, not really that much slower and a little bit easier. The controls for the mounts are a little bit odd. May the goddess protect. And at the moment I can't pick up resources while I'm traveling on my mount, so um, it's a little bit inconvenient, so maybe I'm going to leave my strider behind and I'm going to move on on foot for now. Plus, apparently at some point you're going to lose your mount anyway, it's not going to stick with you forever. Um, I guess maybe the control just wears off after a while if you leave, so um, maybe maybe I'm, I'm going to leave this one behind and pick a new one whenever I need life. to. All of it in the embrace. The world just got bigger. <laughs> also more dangerous yeah it is indeed a lot bigger okay so we're going to leave via this little uh, opening in the mountains talk to Maria at mother's crown um, the war chief's trail go to the massacre site yeah maybe that's what I should be doing first let's have a look at the quest that we have here at the Seeker's Gate. Okay, this is one where I have to go to Mother's Crown. But I mean, it's level 12 and I'm not. So maybe I should be doing this one first. Uh, go to the massacre site where the Nora War Party was ambushed. Yeah, sure. I guess uh, that's what we're going to do next. And I suppose we will look around a little bit on our way. I mean, there's um, some unknown symbol over here and there's one over here as well. And everything else is covered in fog of war, so can't really make this out. But yeah, um, let's venture into the world. I um, want to make sure to fill up my medicine again. And I can see a bunch of, I think they're grazers, right? I really need to bother with them at the moment. Oh, hang on a second. First of all, there's a guy with an exclamation mark. That wasn't a warning. Well, my arrows aren't a warning either. Right, let's just finish off this one with my spear. Oh well, you're not you're not finished yet. All 
right. Let's pick up the stuff and then we are going to check out what this is all about. Do you need any help? You look... I don't know... Wounded? Sick? Something's clearly wrong with, uh... Cran. Are you alright, Hunter? Were you injured when the war party was ambushed? Oh, not exactly. Then I'm not a hunter. Or a brave, or anything, really. You shouldn't even be talking to me. Why? Well, whoever you are, you're hurt. What happened? My name's Cren. I thought I'd have a go at the trials at the hunting grounds over the rise, you know, told my skills. It, uh, it didn't go very well. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, tell me about the hunting grounds. You got injured at a hunting grounds? How? Well, I was aiming for a canister on the back of a grazer, and my bowstring snapped, and I tripped, and... <sighs> uh, forget it. it. It wasn't pretty, okay? I just wanted to train a bit. Hunting grounds are perfect for that. They offer trials, which are like challenges, and they give you marks if you accomplish objectives or beat certain times. I see. The keep is up there on the hill, just to the north. And talk to him to do a trial. I'm sure you'd be better than I did. Well, that sounds like another quest coming up. Um, so why shouldn't I talk to you? Are you an outcast or something? Why did you say you weren't anything at all, and that I shouldn't talk to you? I stole a bow, okay? And got cast out. This was before the proving, so now I can't even fight for my tribe in its time of need. I have to live in the wild by myself, which is why I wanted some training. Honestly, I'm just glad the keeper would talk to me. I think he might be in exile or something. He doesn't seem to care about the laws of the matriarchs. Things aren't exactly going your way, are they? Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. I'll be all right. My father always said all mother had a plan for me. <laughs> Before he got run over by a strider, anyway. <laughs> well, I guess that was uh, her plan for him, right? Anyway, thanks for talking, but I, I need to get gotta going, go, Kren. I suppose. All right, be careful, especially if you're heading north. And be sure to hit the hunting grounds if you want to train up. Right, I guess I should be doing that. Begin the hunting trials. Um, sure, let's uh, have a look at that as well. Open activities, Nora hunting grounds. Okay, so this is not one of my main missions, just something I can do on the side, right? Um, so where exactly would that be? Okay, it's um, the area over here. I mean, I kind of want to check out this symbol, whatever it is. Um, and where exactly was the other quest, the one that I want to do first? Um... Yeah, this one is significantly significantly further to the north. So I guess I'm going to start by checking out this place and maybe uh, have a look at one of these trials because um, they just happen to be on my way. So, yeah. I um, guess I'm going to... <sighs> Snow. It's what? not getting any warmer out here. What is going on there, though? Is this just water? Looks kind of weird. Oh, the machine's doing something odd. It's really hard to tell. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to ignore the machines for now. I don't really have to hunt any machine, so... We're just going to uh, have a look at whatever this is over here. Well, first of all, it's a campfire. going to be useful. Let's make a save. And can I talk to you? Oh, the keeper. Right. Um, you are the one who is responsible for the trials, are you not? I spoke to Cran. He told me this is a hunting grounds where you offer tests of skill. Poor Cran. Not the best hunter. But at least he keeps his chin up. <laughs> hmm. You bear the mark of a seeker. I've heard of those, but never seen one. You have the matriarch's leave to come and go as you like from the sacred land? 
Yes, but I would have gone even without their permission. Is that so? Then maybe you and I can speak plainly. Truth is, I've had dealings with the Karja. Okay. I represent an organization called the Hunter's Lodge in Meridian. We test promising young hunters with trials at places like these. You might be just the kind of person we're looking for. Why don't you sample the trials and see? Just to be clear, though, I'd appreciate it if you kept our conversation in confidence, <laughs> especially when it comes to the matriarchs. Right, I guess uh, we can do that, but why do you want to keep it secret from the Matrix? More about you, about the trials, um... Yeah, tell me about the Hunter's Lodge. What is the Hunter's Lodge? It's a group of hunters who compete to bring down the mightiest machines in the land, run by the Karja in Meridian. You can see it yourself if you win three half-sons from the hunting grounds. Just to warn you, though, they're not fond of Nora. But aren't you a Nora? So why are you a member of the Hunter's Lodge? Yeah, tell me more about yourself. You're not supposed to be here, are you? No. My friend and I left the Sacred Land and returned. The matriarchs wouldn't approve, to say the least. We're hunters at heart. Left because we wanted to find new herds and new machines. That's why the Hunter's Lodge appealed to us. But the Karja wouldn't have us if they knew we were Nora, so we wore Karja clothes when we brought our marks to them. After a while, it felt like we were caught between worlds. Not quite Karja, not quite Nora. We started to miss home. So we came back and set up our own hunting grounds. You think it'll work? Staying here without the Matriarch's permission? I I'm not sure. But we don't believe in their rules. There's a big world out there, and ignoring it doesn't help anyone. Well, I tend to agree with that. But okay, tell me about these trials. Tell me about the trials. The Hunter's Lodge hosts hunting ground trials throughout the world, each offering hunters a chance to test their skills. What do I get for completing them? Pride and accomplishment, <laughs> as well as marks, depending on how well you fare. Here, we offer the tools trials. What kind of tools? Hunting isn't just about your bow. It's about using everything available to you, even your surroundings. You'll see once you start taking the trials. Okay, can you give me any more information? Do I need any tools for this? Um, sure, let's have a look at the trials, I suppose. Pick one of these trials and I'll explain it. All right. Parts alone trial, lock pile trial, blast wire trial. Uh, again, I would like to have more information on these trials before I start them. Okay, these are just back to the same question. Which tools um, trial would you like to try? I'll explain how it works. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go with the first one, maybe. Test your skill with bow and arrow by shooting parts off the backs of grazers as quickly as possible. Okay. I feel I should be able to do that. Sure, let's, let's give it a try. Hope you enjoy it. I'll start timing when you slide down one of the ropes. Okay, um, let's have a look at that quest in detail. Parts alone trial. Remove canisters from grazers. 1 minute and 30, 2 minutes, 20 minutes? Okay. Um, I, I guess I should make sure that I have um, sufficient arrows before I start this. Um, which I do not. All right, so I'm just going to slide down this rope. Um, well, it's it's a lot of them, and there's watchers as well, so that could be a problem. But sure, uh, I guess I'll give it a try. All right, let's make the first few shots count because very soon they will start to get aggressive, I'm sure. And they're running away. Oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot that they can do this. And now I have to deal with a watcher over here. Um, 
Okay, I only got four canisters so far, so... That's not enough. That's definitely not enough, but... I... I had to... I had to deal with the stupid watches first. <laughs> okay, this is actually a lot more difficult than I thought. Um... So the question is... How can I avoid fighting the watchers? Maybe I should use my precision bow instead of my normal bow. I mean, that's why I have it, right? All right. Now let's try to take down the canisters. Well, that didn't work. And yep, now the watchers are on onto me again. Uh, now I have to deal with them first before I can go back to hunting the grazers. Alright. That's two of them down. And now well, this one. Um, okay. Now where are the grazers? I still have to shoot a lot more canisters. And no good without the right. That's all of my arrows. Let's fill it up again. I wish they would stop running away from me. Alright, that's six canisters. Seven. Oops, well, nope, nope. Don't, don't get involved in a fight now. Okay, I need three more canisters. Of course, I'm not really doing good on the time here. I need to be significantly faster than that. Oh, well, uh, careful. Okay, that's eight canisters. And nine and ten. There we go. Ooh, well, that's not going to give me that great of a mark, I'm afraid. But at least I finished one trial, so. If if I want to if I want to do this in like one and a half minutes. I need to find like a better strategy, especially for the watchers. But okay, um, I guess I'll head back to the keeper and uh, You'll do. let's see what he has to say about my <laughs> sub-average performance. All right, I'm back, although I'm not that happy with my performance here. First time out and that's how you do it. Well. Here's a half sun. Go a little faster next time and you'll earn a full sun. <laughs> well, I do want a full sun. Parts alone, trials, mark earned. Okay, so um, I have at least like one one uh, mark. But yeah, I guess um, that's going to be enough for today. Um, maybe I will try to improve my time off camera uh, in between episodes. Or maybe I will just come back later when I'm at a higher level and presumably um, that might help me a little bit here. But yeah, for now, let's uh, just end this uh, test. I should go. Come back when you're ready. Okay, so there we go. Our first um, adventure outside of the embrace. Um, 
Also, I completely overlooked the merchant over here. I may want to make use of um, their services. But for now, let's end the episode here. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.